What's going on everybody? It's Tagging the Trash Panda again and right here we got part I believe six of the BRM build for brown nose and uh, I got all the goodies here now that I need uh, so now that I got the lower and upper made it in I got the brace on here time to put on all the nice accessories on top of the upper so we have an M-lock rail M-lock sling mount we have the Sig Sauer Romeo 5 that's gonna go on here uh, we have some HK style sights for the backup irons and the M uh, Magpul M-lock angle foregrip so let's begin um damn so many nice things here i don't know where to begin <laughs> let's open up this red dot i want to put this on first right there so let's see guys i'm excited to finally come to the conclusion of this build and I just did that way too much struggles of doing things on video <laughs> all right guys so I'm gonna attach this up here I get struggles when I'm trying to do this on video. <laughs> All right. So here we go. First thing that's on there is a Sig Romeo. And like I said, what I'm going to start doing is just lock tight everything after I'm done with the video. It saves a lot more time. But already with that dot on there, this thing is looking sick. Thank you, Angry Sarge, for putting me onto the Six Hour Romeo. Before that, I, I strictly just used Hollison. And the Six Hour seems just as good. The only thing I still love about the Hollisons is that they had the solar fail safe on top. But you know what? On a budget, this ain't bad. I may still put a Hollison on there later down the line, but for now, this is good. I'm happy with this. Uh, Let's look at these sights here. Front sights, okay, and these are flat heads. Okay, cool. So I'm trying to keep these videos short, guys. I know when videos get too long that people will kind of drift away but I'm trying to keep them short so we're gonna do some YouTube magic hold on with me so here you go you got the front and rear backup sights mounted these things look amazing I wouldn't expect anything less from HK so there you go guys there's the backup sights. Now for uh, final three accessories, and this build should be over. After that, I'll just have to take it to the range and sight her in. One moment, guys. Let's just do some more YouTube magic to keep this video short. All right, so what I ended up doing was I just pre-fit all these up onto the accessories. Of course, when I need my uh, Leatherman, I don't have it, but at least I got my Gerber Dime. And I'm going to show you a little quick tip that uh, I found pretty useful back in the day. Somebody showed me. I don't remember which YouTuber it was, but it works. So I just tighten all these down. It's 
far they'll go. And then I'll put them on the rail and loosen them up to my desired need. And that way I don't have to mess around with them spinning around and whatnot. And I'll show you that in just a moment. So what I'm talking about is I tighten them all the way here. These are the M-Lock style rails. So I tighten them all the way. So that way I can just, you know, slip them into the rail section. I need to straighten these out all the way for this to work properly. So then you can just slip them where you want them on the rail. And uh, then you just slowly work them out and you can kind of feel when they release and it locks itself in place pretty neat trick that saves you a whole lot of time okay so now it locked itself Boom save yourself so much time Let's see if we could get that there it is got a side rail right there i'm gonna do the same with the qd mount and the grip all right so fast forward i ended up putting all the mounts on it the accessories so i can add a flashlight on this later down the line there's my sling mount my grip right there Dude, guys, I'm excited to take this to the range and uh, put in the first few shots. And you know what? Here's a little added bonus. Thank you to the guys that engage Armament for the laser engraving. I love how it turned out. <laughs> guys, I'm super stoked about this build. There you go. Check out Brown Nose. I'll put in a link if you want to build this out yourself. You can definitely do it. It may take some time, but once you put the pieces together, it's yours. I'm so stoked about this guy. Oh man. Whew, man. This thing is sweet. And to uh fold this back up, I think you just lift lift up a little bit yeah good to go i'll probably adjust this for the sights you could move it up and down so guys merry christmas <laughs> i did put this together right on christmas day and if you've been keeping up with this build thank you for the support if you like this stay tuned for some more stuff like this Hit that like button, leave a comment. If you hit that share button and just copy the link, the algorithms do think that you know you shared it, and it'll bring some more uh, traction my way. So I would truly appreciate that. Uh, I'll put in an affiliate link for Brown Nails, king of the industry. <laughs> Till then, thanks for watching, guys. Take care.